ladies. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's go through a couple questions from the quiz. I think uh, very telling. I th uh, I think. Absolutely. First question was how do you how often do you find yourself doing something spontaneous? I do a spur of the moment was three <laughs> percent. Right. Camille, what do you make of those numbers? Well, I don't think they're surprising, as you yeah. mentioned, Natalie. The older we get, the more we accumulate in our lives, the more responsibilities we have. It's hard to just jet Break out to away. a bar two right. in the morning or go on a spa getaway. People. That said, if you realize, you know, you're home and instead of feeling serene and content, you're feeling a little FOMO, a little fear yeah. of missing out. If you're feeling like something's missing, maybe that means that you should look for a little bit more spontaneity. Valerie, that's life. really important. I mean, yeah. it, it is important to introduce new things, new people, new friends, as we're going to talk about with the next it poll is. result as well, right? Yeah, doing new things is actually good for your brain. It makes you happier. So, you know, it's it's good to have routine. That's good, too. But yeah. it's very important to say, you know what, what, what have I always wanted to do? What have I wanted to learn? And what am I waiting for? Those are the questions you could ask yourself and just kind of jolt yourself out and kind of shake things up a bit. That's hard though. I mean, as you can see from those numbers, it's easier yeah. to pull the blanket up and put the movie on. Yeah, but the yeah. 38% that never does yeah. anything right, spontaneous, right. Just, just try it once. once. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Well, speaking yeah. of new things, making new friends. And the question was, when you make a new friend, what does that feel like? And it, the responses are, I don't ever form new relationships. Any new friend is usually a very casual friend. I have trouble sharing private. That's a great yeah. answer. I agree. <laughs> I agree. And I mean, similar to being spontaneous, it does get harder to make new friends as, you know, we're not in school anymore. Yeah. We're busy with different parts of our life. But that said, it stays important. Friendship is good for your health. And the more you are juggling work, home, mm -hmm. stress, yeah. the more you need people to vent to and support you in times of trouble. But the yeah. trust yeah. thing is important too, Valerie, it's right? You want to let people in your life that you know you can but really. here's the thing, happiness is contagious. Yeah. And so if you have a lot of unhappy people around you, it's going to affect you. But if you have happy people around you, it impacts you as well. And we have to think about so many people today live alone. I mean, mm -hmm. more, more Americans than ever before. And people yeah. are so mobile. So a lot of people over 30, over 40 are having to make new friends. So being willing to reach out, being willing to kind of put yourself out there is more important than ever, especially if you're yeah. moving to a new city or a new, right. a new place in your life. All right, ladies, out of time on this ladies, one. Thank so you so much. Back in a moment. This is today.